Admittedly, I probably spend too much time on X. I just found this today where the benchmarks for ChatGPT 5 supposedly leaks and it beats all the other frontier state-of-the-art models, including Grok 4 and Grok 4 Heavy. Now, even if these benchmarks are fake, because there's no way to verify if they're real, I would say my prediction would be GPT-5 will beat the Grok 4 Heavy benchmarks. The ARC AGI 2 benchmark is one that's nearly impossible for humans and almost impossible for AIs to get a good score. So the Grok 4 thinking mode got a 15% on ARC AGI 2. Supposedly, the GPT-5 base gets 25% and GPT-5 reasoning gets 70%. If you were to take PhDs in their prime at the top of their domain areas of expertise and test them on this, they'd be lucky to get a 60. Well, we don't know anything. I don't know if that's real, but here's something else that's interesting. There were announcements that OpenAI was going to release an open source model. Finally, Sam Altman tweeted this yesterday. We plan to launch our open weights model next week. We're delaying it. We need time to run additional safety tests and review high risk areas. We're not yet sure how long it will take us. Now, here's the thing. There's two different groups of people who claim they have insider information who are kind of saying opposite takes. And the really weird thing about that is both of them are people who I follow and trust as trusted sources with integrity. I'll leave this up so you can read it. So this person on X, you may have seen me quote in different videos. This is someone from a company called Noose Research. They are a fully transparent company that makes open source models. They put out their research, they put out their code, they put out their weights, everything. And people from this company tweet and they say what's going on. When they find things like, hey, this method for post-training works better than this, they share it publicly. I think they're really awesome for doing that. Now, Technium here is saying, don't trust Sam Altman. This could have something to do with the fact that just before this, a 1 trillion parameter open source model came out that was really good. One speculation is that this kind of scared or shocked the people from OpenAI, and now they want to make sure that their model is really good before they release it quality-wise. One possible reason for the delay of the open source model could just be the quality of it, and they want to keep up with the release of the Kimi 1 trillion parameter model. Technium here also adds the concern that Chinese labs are making open source models and just dropping them. They're really efficient, they're really good, and US labs are not doing that. If you've seen previous videos of mine, I feel the same way. Not in a way that like they're an enemy, but just that we want to make our contributions too. Just like when Chinese producers make open source models, they're making a positive contribution to the world and to the community, and I would like to see more American companies do the same thing. That point is also made in this tweet. Another thing mentioned in this tweet is that Elon Musk had said in the past that when a new version of Grok comes out, he would open source the previous version. Grok 3 came out. We did not see a Grok 2 open source. Grok 4 just came out. We don't know if we're going to see a Grok 3 open source. Technium is just kind of keeping people honest and calling them out here. That's what he's like because he's a person of integrity. He's very transparent. So I can understand his principles. Now, I don't really fully know what is going on with this particular set of messages because one of them was deleted. Now, this was uh, just another one from Technium saying it was a rug pull, which it kind of seems like it was. Somehow there was like a message that got deleted, I'm guessing maybe from, from TSZZL, who goes by the name Rune. And Technium wants to know, and tell us what's so scary about a small open source GPT that people I know say isn't about safety at all. And if it is, y'all are actually unironic, not going to say it of the highest order. Um, I think that would actually be like a really good name for a punk band. But anyway, I kind of get the take he's saying now. He's hinting at what if safety was not the issue? That's not the truth. And there might be some other reason why they are perhaps delaying the release of the open source model. Again, this is totally speculation. I'm not claiming anything is fact, and I'm not trying to lean towards a direction. I'm just saying what I found on X, because as I said in the beginning of the video, I spend too much time there. So what else is there? You think the drama stops here? No, it does not. Technium also claims to have some kind of behind the scenes sources saying that safety is not the real reason. And there's been some rumors about things like copyrighted information leaking out from the open source model. Now, here's the thing about that. OpenAI has been embarrassed about that kind of thing before, and it brought them bad press. Another possibility, what if both things are true? What if there's a safety issue? And what if there's also leaked data happening in a copyrighted sense from the model? Either one or both of those things could possibly be true. I don't really see one canceling out the other. 
Shannon Sands, who's from the same company as Technium, basically says, what if it's because of the one trillion parameter model and that kind of has them running scared? Technium responded explaining, based on what Rune said to him, there's been like output of copyrighted data like I had just mentioned. So it's, it's like kind of hard to tell what's going on. It doesn't feel to me, if I'm just going on vibes, like OpenAI and Sam Altman are really being clear about what's going on. Doesn't mean anyone's lying or hiding anything, does not necessarily mean that the speculation is true. It just makes me feel like OpenAI and Sam are being a little vague. This user, Satoshi, I do not exist, NN, claims to have insider information about ChatGPT. Now, so much of what Satoshi says turns out to be real. I basically trust this source. I don't really know him personally, but I would say that I'm not gonna like disbelieve them or anything because it seems to be pretty accurate. Now, Satoshi I Do Not Exist claimed the other day before OpenAI released anything that there were safety issues. And that makes it clear that this person has the insider info. So I responded saying, I don't work for anyone, but I've been digging around. Said that in reference to Technium's post. The open source model is spewing copyrighted information, best intel I could get. Now, Satoshi says, copyright content isn't a safety issue that's a legal issue so whoever told you that is lying and clearly lacks common sense not to think about this before speaking it's just that both of these people are legit like here's the issue with these two sources colliding with each other is that i think both of these sources have integrity so i personally don't necessarily know what to think here i don't think either of them lack common sense I don't think either of them go around spreading false information. It's just, we don't know what their sources are and some wires can get crossed sometimes. I'll also agree that copyright is a legal issue, not a safety issue, but the whole point was, Technium was saying safety issue is a lie. This is just me, again, reporting what I found. I'm not making any particular speculation. I was just really excited about OpenAI finally making an open source model because I think open source is amazing and it's really critical. It democratizes AI, it brings it to regular people, it helps create more ecosystems around it, it lets developers who are maybe in like in a small startup or a small company work with this stuff. That's really powerful technology. And that always excites me. So my whole thing about this is I'm hoping for the best. I'm not posting this in terms of the controversy, like let's battle it out. I'm saying, here's what I found and here's my vibe. I'm going to try my best to lay off some of the speculation stuff. No guarantees, though. I just, uh, this stuff is like really relevant and going on right now. So I wanted to comment on it and it was right there in my feed and it's people who I interact with regularly. I'm still working on my testing video of Grok 4. Obviously, others have tested it. There's videos and internet posts about it. I'm just trying to come up with a set of prompts that are a little bit different than what's already out there. Because if this is supposed to be one of the smartest AI models around, I'm not necessarily trying to give it the same old prompts. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you think about all the stuff that I found on X in the comments. It'll be interesting to see a discussion of what your take is on it.